In the pyramid of evolution, there is plenty of space at the base but only a needle point space at the top. Only few are entitled to reach the top. This entitlement is not decided by one's looks or wealth or influence in the society. It is the result of the grace of Guru which is earned by one's karmas and one-pointed focus. This journey to the top of the pyramid is extremely easy and yet most difficult. Easy, because Guru shows you the door and also the path to the door, all you need to do is walk. Difficult because there is only space for a few, so there are energies at play that try to make the sadhaka take a turn. And these energies work at various levels and intensities, at a basic level. They manifest a desire for the sadhaka. A fraction of sadhakas are able to understand the temporariness of the pleasure and are able to keep themselves focused on the finality or the permanent, in the midst of all the pleasures. At the next level, sadhaka is endowed with certain cities of yoga, he or she is able to perceive the dimension of colors or is able to see past or future, or is able to have direct interaction with devas or devas. At that time two things can happen, either the sadhaka gets enamored by the siddhi, or he or she understands this is just a stepping stone, not the finality. In case of the former, the sadhaka gets stuck or changes his slash path, in case of the latter, he or she continues to move towards finality unfazed, both cities and pleasures are termed as pitfalls in the yoga sutras. And these are not the only ordeals. As one moves closer to the final frontier, positive forces rise within him slash her as do negative forces, with equal pull, creation being a balance of positive and negative. The negative forces whisper in the ear or induce thoughts inside the sadhaka such that he or she begins to doubt the path or the guru. Often under influence of negative forces that tap on the inherent weakness of the individual, sadhakas get swayed. At that time, it is important for the sadhaka to increase his slash her sadhana. To remember the various experiences he or she has had on the path and to discuss with Guru, without inhibitions his slash or state of mind. Desire plays an important role. At times we do think our desire is the final frontier, but that is not the fact. These forces distract or attract. They capitalize on the fact that our desire is also and not only the finality, so they take these routes and take us back into the world. Unfortunately, we would not even realize that we are going off the path because we would think our desires are manifesting, and so, another birth wasted, it is lifetimes of good karma that leads one to the guru, who then illuminates the path. Once you find one, don't let these distractions or disturbances hamper your journey. Remember, there is only little space on the top, and it is the final frontier, so nothing short of 100% will get you there. The writer is the spiritual head of Dhyan Foundation. www.dhyanfoundation.com Let's block ads. Why?